Good morning, folks. Today is June the 13th, 2018. Waking up in Atlanta in my room. This is my little get go setup. It's been sitting, sitting here for like last month. I haven't been here for a month, so I gotta get up, do laundry, because you know it's just been sitting for a month and it feels like this kind of. Just, I don't know, not damp, but I know that it's like dusty around here and shit. And I slept through it last night and I was like, fuck it, fuck it. Can't be doing that. Anyways, we're gonna be doing that today and then we're gonna figure out what to do in Atlanta. Go from there. Let's go. The time's about two o'clock right now and I just woke up doing some laundry, but I'm just gonna leave it right now because it's two o'clock and I gotta go and do some brake and oil check on my car, get that all situated. Get myself set up right now, and then we can be able to work. So, let's go. Here my baby is, and the moment of truth. I've been having her sit for about a month. Let's see if she turns on. Very important, if she doesn't turn on, I'm screwed. Or I'll have to get a jump start somewhere. Let's see. Every time. Woo! She turns on, and I know, I know, I, I gotta get her an oil check and oil everything right now. Damn! First thing I need to be doing today is maintenance this vehicle to its proper running conditions because uh, I left it without doing an oil change, but right now, we gotta do it. Let's do this. One thing about Vin, you can rely on is that he got the monster hookup right here i just came into my car and i was like man i need i need some some reach for it boom got the monster baby Ooh. now i am traveling down this road called pleasant hill and uh i am going to go to the toyota dealership if i can find it and here I am in the parking lot of a Toyota dealership. I go to the dealership to get oil filters because they are more like cheaper than um, aftermarket. And I think I'm more, uh, I want more um, genuine parts for my truck. Anytime I deal with my truck, I want genuine parts as much as possible. Even though it's an oil filter, I'm just really gonna go down to the dealership. Now I am getting hungry and I need to get Honda Express. Gotta get this, cause uh, I didn't eat yet. Oh, nice. Let's get something. Right now I'm gonna eat this food real quick. Ooh, Panda Express. Here's the broccoli beef. And this is the chicken pepper chicken. Momski. America. Here she is. She's gonna need some TLC. Today we're gonna be doing an oil change. Real quick. Take care of your car. She's gonna take care of you. So I gotta take care of her today. Let's do this. For me, I like to do my oil, own oil change because I know how to do it and it's so much more cheaper if I do it myself. And I like to just be aware that exactly what's happening. Oh yeah, happening. she is 10 times better. When you have an oil change, it just feels way, way better. And we'll run this for at least five, 10 minutes. And then we can be off. What you wanna do when you do an oil change, all the time when you do it oil, be responsible. Take that out. Any AutoZone or um, the other, what's the other one would take your oil, just not the container. So always make sure you do that. Right now it is literally raining in Georgia. It's like it was hot and then it thunderstorms and then it rains. That's just Georgia, baby. Like that bipolar weather that it has here. Good thing I got done with the oil change right before this rain came down, huh? Gee. So basically, it's a big old tank. Pour it in. All this oil inside. It's a big old tank. And then they recycle and stuff, so responsible way to discard your oil. So it's about six o'clock and I'm here at Costco. Gotta make my runs because I gotta make sure I get fed so I go to Costco to get all my stuff and uh, let's see what I get today I already know I'm gonna get some monsters oh some chicken we'll see Costco in the uh, guys go grocery shopping beer monster uh, chicken protein 
broccoli, easy, and that water, simple and easy. The time is about 7.46 and I got done with all my errands. And now I can uh, hit the gym, waiting for food so I can food prep, and then hit the gym right now for about an hour or so, go from there. So still a lot of time, be productive here. The time is 9 o'clock or 9.15 right now. I just got done with my pump. I did more cardio today, so I feel very, very good about that. I was like, I warmed up, and then after I did uh, a few dumbbells, I hit it up with uh, another run, probably 15 minutes at a time. So I know that I gotta do more cardio, so I gotta do that. And then I was just thinking to myself, I was like, man, if I just quit a little bit of my drinking habits, oh, I can go a little bit longer. So maybe I should be doing that anyways. If I'm thinking it, might as well be doing it, so. Right now I'm gonna just get a few things from uh, the supermarket and then go home, prep, call it a night. Popular um, supermarkets is Asi. It's like a Korean one, so I go here to get some of my shopping needs. Hopefully they're still open until nine, so they're still open. What the heck is going on right now? There's a lot of people that are just reversing to get out or something because it's stuck what the freaking a dude oh my gosh i know i should exit like maybe the last exit dang i'm stuck what the heck finally got home a little bit of traffic at nights but all right we're gonna begin my meal preparation i'm gonna be making lemongrass chicken got the chicken party wings Lemongrass, very important, and garlic. Let's put it all together. Mm. All right, we're gonna start it off with uh, garlic. The pan is very hot right now, so make sure that's always hot before you add anything into it. Oh yeah, you hear that sizzle sound every time. Oh, that sounds good. Sounds really good. And I already put uh, some of this, uh, if you can see the greens in, nice. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Put it down a little bit right here. Kind of see how it looks in. Hold it in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh. Chicken is in. Starting it all. There's only garlic and chicken right now. Waiting for the good stuff. All right, I got my salt, pepper, sugar, and a special sauce. And now I'm going to put in my lemongrass. Yummy. And lots of lemongrass. I usually don't do chili. But today, I got two peppers in. Ooh. You know me, I prep for at least two, three days. So I'm busting these babies out and getting that chicken in right now. Ooh, she's looking good. More lemongrass, so I added more. Ooh, I really want some in there. I'm probably like 10, 15 minutes into this cook and she's looking already good. The taste is there, so I'm just waiting for it to all just cook into the chicken. That's what I want to do. And we are ready, baby. Ready for you. Oh yeah, this baby is complete. Now, just to complete it, make sure I lace everything properly. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sweet mother. 
And the best part is get saucy, baby. Oh yeah, that's how I like it. Get real saucy, baby. Oh yeah, so now I am done. It looks good. Time to grub. Ooh. I'm happy how it came out. All right, I am ready to eat. Feast up, cheers up, y'all. The time is about 11.30 and my roommate's not even home. This guy works so much too, but it's all good. Today, the topic that I want to talk about is that, like, well, I was looking up a lot of things and I was like, hey man, we don't got an Asian person talking about them moving to Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So, you want to move to Atlanta, huh? Well, don't. They fool. <laughs> That's what usually a lot of people would say because, um, Atlanta is really getting full itself, you know? So, when I think about Atlanta, I think about traffic in LA as well. It's very overcrowded here as well. But I know that it's like a hub of the next hub and the, the black Hollywood. So a lot of people are moving towards this way. Ooh, that shit has a kick to it. Oh yeah, two spices, oh, oh I feel it. Yeah, so um, Black Hollywood, you know what I'm saying? It's it's coming through. What I do is that I do renovations and I do uh, real estate too as well. I'm getting into it, but I'm constantly busy out here too. So there is job opportunity. But the first thing that happened to me when I got over here, or I would, I would suggest with people, is that know somebody or have a plan too. Because for me, I, I was kind of like more more blessed because I do have family out here. My sister moved out here way long time ago in college and she said, hey man, it's a good, it's a good opportunity too. And you know, whatever you do, renovation and stuff like that, you can find a job out here or, or, or anything like that, you know? For me, I suggest that you kind of know somebody or kind of, you know, get, get your friends out here that you're able to, you know, kind of rely on and kind of help because they have like, it's it's Southern comfort. I'm telling you, if, if they're like willing to open up, I've, I've heard a lot of stories around here that people just open up their hearts for, you know, a newcomer and stuff like that. So, you know, if you know somebody, that's great, but I give it out to you, whoever, like all all the families out there that are just like, just like, hey man, I heard Georgia's good. We don't know anybody and just move on their own. Like props to you. But for me, I already had family out here. So I was at my sister's house for at least, you know, uh, about like five, six months before I even left. But I was renovating her house, which was, was good because, you know, I was able to work as well as, you know, understand the area where I'm at. So moving from LA to Atlanta, it was really difficult. I came here in um, 2006, I believe, to renovate her house. So I renovated her house in on the, that summer, and when I when I got there, you know, what I mean, I was renovating, making it happen. And at night, I, I had some friends out here too. And I, at night, I'd go hit the bars, chill, and see what's up with everything like that. And for me, it, I felt like right here, it's more of a slower pace, more more chill than that that um, LA hustle and bustle grind. But there's a lot of people that tell me that the opportunities are better too and like the housing were so lower and that's kind of true that's really true because when i came out here i see my sister's house and i see everybody houses around i'm like dude they can afford a house it with minimum wage if you like do your financials right and you have a minimum wage job you can save up enough to have a house in a in la there's no way you can do that but I don't know how it's gonna ha happen right now, uh, 2018. But for me, I'm I'm doing all right. You know what I mean? Like I've been out here for the last like since 2016 to 2018. Let's say about a year and a half. But for me, uh, I'm a different type of type of guy because I go back and forth from Atlanta. I do my renovations over to Atlanta and California. But just my input of Atlanta and how it is, it's. It's kind of chill and um, the people out here, they're really nice. I think they're so nice that even though if everybody had like, like kind of beef with each other and grudges with each other, they just kind of just put it to the side sometimes when they see each other like around. Sometimes people will say it's two-faced. Sometimes people will just say they're just trying to be nice. 
but I would just play with it and like they're just trying to be nice to you know whatever it is but you know over in Cali like you know if you don't mess with this person you you don't even you don't even deal with this person there's enough room to go around that like, you don't have to see this person but in Atlanta it's pretty small I'm saying in the Vietnamese community it's pretty small that you're gonna run into a lot of people and you're gonna run into them and you're gonna see them so you might as well be like more cordial about it or you're gonna beef you know what I mean so you know, I think that's, that's what kind of is really more different too as well. But it's Southern uh, it's southern hospitality. I think it's more that they just want to be nice to each other, even though they kind of talk like to each other on like in back of them, but it's still like, uh, I don't know. All right, let's talk about attitude, man. Like Atlanta, I don't know, but the customer service and attitude that uh, some of these people have out here, I'm not, I'm not trying to say much because I'm a minority myself, you know what I mean? And I get all these these feelings too. Like even, even from me today coming back to Atlanta, you know, for the first day I have that 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 bitter in my in my mouth that I'm just like, dude, there's that customer service is not really all there in Atlanta sometimes. It's because like I feel like, you know, maybe it's hot or something like that, but they just like not really gonna um, just just be really nice to you or give you like you know customer service is the best and stuff like that they're just gonna be like okay whatever do do that and then just people walking around too they're kind of like just like whatever ew. and i was like uh what the heck man just giving you looks and everything like that you know summertime the attitude is i i feel like some some areas that you're at you you do get that too you know what i mean because i feel that it's like a clash because it was like with the whites the black people and it gets all racist sometimes and i feel that you know um the black people or the african americans just feel that they need to be um you know stronger and stern about their um feelings too so it kind of you kind of brush that off like you know they they get kind of rude, but I feel I feel for my black people. You know what I mean. I got no problem with that, but dude, it's sometimes it's just too much. Like sometimes, like I gotta like I'd be at a DMV and I'd be like, dude, just just finish up with whatever I got, and they're just like talking about the mall and they're they're shopping for forever. They'll just stop and still talk to this person for like two minutes and then turn to you and like process what you got to do and i'm like holy moly angela joe lee you know what i mean like some of that it's it's just what it is that's what you're gonna that's what you're gonna taste in that atlanta like i'm gonna be real true for to you that's that's what it's gonna be but other than that you know what i mean if you keep in your own circle like i talk to a lot of people too they'd be like if you keep your own circle and like whatever it is and, uh, not to be more clicky and clicky and everything like that but you'll be okay but if you sometimes if you want to brush out to it why not you know but if if they're gonna be that type of way then it's fine like you don't gotta deal with it you, you just gotta you know stand stern on your own and be like hey you know what you, you did this type of person i'm gonna be a bigger person about it i'm just gonna walk away whatever it is but i truthfully that's what i have encountered and that's what i'm gonna do too oh there's another story that i was talking about like this is one time my car broke down and I was like, oh, okay, uh, I didn't have my um, jumper cables on me. And I went to some white folks, you know what I mean? And I was like, hey, you know, can you help me out? And I was just, I was just came up to them, talked to them, and he's like, oh yeah, it's over there, or something like that. Or just like, I think he just waved me off. I didn't know, cause, cause my, my mind was just panicking and everything like that. And then I come into the gas station, cause I, I stopped at a gas station, and then I got, um, you know, jumper cables inside I bought it came out it's like hey you gonna you want to help me out and then they just ignored me the whole time and I was like oh I don't think I they heard me so I walked closer and then I was like oh you're gonna help me out and then they did like kind of that look like what the fuck like sizing me up and down I was like oh never mind I know what you're doing right now I gotta back up and then I do that because like sometimes people are gonna be friendly and sometimes people are gonna be really really rude that's just the south you know what I mean you're gonna have that southern um hospitality or you're gonna have that southern muck look Ugh. <laughs> so that that's another thing about atlanta i say you go for it at least get somebody or get your yourself grounded to get have a job 
and be able to, you know, live in your own means. If you even move from Atlanta to Atlanta or like anywhere that you want to go, you want to be able to live in your own means and be financially stable. You know, for me, uh, I can understand that, but I'm a I'm a wanderer and I'm a waterless guy, wanderless guy too. But I understand that I do have to be financially okay to pay my rent, pay my bills, to continue going, and that's that's most importantly. You know, if you can find like a job, if you find a job online, that's even better. But out here, like you gotta hustle and bustle and do it, just like every anywhere in the world. So shout out to the people that are going to be moving or going through the process of moving, dude. Like it don't have to be Atlanta. Like I said, it could be every anywhere, but. It, you already know your struggles and everything that you have to you know to to deal with that be more be more responsible with yourself because you're dealing with yourself and make sure that you're you're giving yourself the best you, you're putting your your foot the best foot forward for yourself so when you're making a move that's that's basically what you want to do well that's my little rant on uh if you want to move to atlanta and uh well, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Yo.